Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you what you need to do if you got the Moto G6, E5, the Moto E4. It can be any model from Motorola, so I'm gonna show you what you need to do if your phone show up, no SIM, or the phone say no internet connection, or you can make calls. On this video, I'm gonna show you the process to fix that type of problem. Before I start the process, please, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and share the video. All right, the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take out the SIM card from your phone. Perfect. Once your SIM card is out, first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna press the power button right here, and you're gonna press the power off right here. Just keep it down like this until you see the menu like this. All right, that window gonna open. Right here, you're gonna press on OK. All right, your phone's gonna go soft, and I'm gonna turn it back on on safe mode. So, and I'm gonna show you what else you need to do to fix that problem. Let me just wait until the phone come on. All right, as you can see right here, it shows safe mode. So right now the phone's on safe mode. All right, all you gotta do, you're gonna go to setting, right here, you're gonna scroll down, and you're gonna go to apps and notification, right here. All right, now you're gonna go to see all 46 apps, right here. Now you're gonna scroll down until you see two or SIM card. Just go down. All right, right here, SIM toolkit. You're gonna click on that. Perfect, now you're gonna go to storage, clear storage. You're gonna go back. And now you're gonna go to first tab right here. Perfect, once you do that, what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your SIM card back in. It's right here, just put your SIM card. And restart your phone. You're gonna go to restart. Once your phone is on, everything should be good to go. That's the process to fix any Motorola problem. Like basically when the phone say no SIM, you can't make calls, you can receive coming calls, it won't connect to the data, any problem like that. That's all you gotta do. The same process, the one I show you on this video, and your phone is gonna be good to go. I hope this video fix your problem. Please, if you got any question, let me know. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe on my channel, share the video. See you next time.